That's what makes me special. Huh? I got your light mounted for you. <gasps> you did? Oh, yes, I, I need did. to be gone more often. You get stuff done. I just And no, I love the fabric change. I see what you're hoarding in the corner. What? That's a quilt of the week. Uh, no. Oh, that? Yeah. yeah. Are we live? We're live. Oh, yeah. Brett, we're live. I know. We're live. I forgot to grab that so we can be like all official. Good oh, afternoon. I'm exhausted. Did you have a... I've been to, yesterday we took the wee ones to Sanders Village. Sanders okay. Village is... Where's that? Is that... Annual Sanderson, Jefferson, New Hampshire. Okay, I'm thinking... It's of, not next to anything. Okay? I'm, I'm it of, is I'm, a track. I'm thinking of Santa's Land. Have you been to Santa's Land lately? That's close. I know. It's like this weird ghetto... No, 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 no. Santa's, Santa's like, Village is actually... I highly recommend if you have youngins. It's clean, nice, but Graham Graham. Oh, my God. It's the first year that I got off rides and went, Ooh, I don't know that I could do that again. <laughs> I used to be able to go with them on you know, the, the, the log ride. I bit my neck. I'm like, oh my God. But the worst one was the water slide I went down. Now, I do this every year. Mm -hmm. There's something I've, I've gone, meh. I've I... passed the point of, I mm -hmm. shall not do water slides. I watch kid after kid go down, no biggie. I'm yeah. like, yeah, baby. I go down. Don't ask me why or how, but instead of leaning on my rear end, I landed on my feet. Well, that water's about this deep. <laughs> so I land on my feet, and then my body goes, I'm not kidding, face forward, flat back. Everyone's did anybody, like, <laughs> Did anybody record this? So we're going to see you like on fail you No, know, but you did get recordings on the flume line ride. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that's not happening ever again. Last ride with Grand Graham. Oh, give me a Ferris wheel. <laughs> yeah, we, we went to Six Flags last year, and I think I, I can't do anything there. I guarantee you. I'll be well, the, I'm like I so think, sore today. <laughs> we stood in the, I think we spent more time standing in line than actually riding. Yeah, you need to spend and the of, pat for the past. And all there. the time I stood standing in line, um, most of the time we'd get up to the ride. And they close. Oh, no. I'm too big for rides. I think I was only fit on like two of the... Don't you read the signs? Oh, it's I mean, not your height, it's your girth. No, it's my height. You get up oh, it is your height. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks like you fit, and then you sit. Well, it's my girth, too, sometimes. <laughs> but then you sit, and like they, they try to strap you in, and they can't strap it down because your shoulders sorry, are too high. I'm sorry, came... Right. I think that was the problem with my water slide was my height. Yes. But no, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a problem that I have, so I, I just don't go oh. anymore. I just... Oh, well, don't, because you'll come home the next day and you'll be like, my foot hurts, my neck hurts, my So we went, tub hurts. we went tubing over the weekend, and I didn't put any sunscreen on my face, so my face Where'd has you been go down, tubing? Down the saddle? Oh, I've been wanting it now. I wonder if I can still do that. I have not done that, and I wanted to You've do never it. been tubing down the saddle? No, I There's have not. There's nothing to it. You rent a tube, and you float down float the river. Float down the river. Yes. And then they come pick you up. Well, actually, the way that the one we, because we've done that, we do this like every year, we've been doing it for years. We found one that they drive you out and drop you off, and when you get out of the river... You're back home? You're back home. Oh, you I like that one. You just walk across the road. Yep, Socko Bound. Shout out to Socko Bound. Okay, well, I'm going to be... Ding, ding. That might have to be my next and adventure. I would I would recommend go... go no white water stuff. No, you no white water. You just kind of go do the do You just do, float do, down do, the do. river. All right, but it is that. it is worth like the twenty bucks to buy the little collapsible safety boat paddle off Amazon. Just in case. No, because it's really nice to be able to just paddle around on your tube and oh. then float. Well, I'll probably end up doing three sixties the whole way. And you can also rent a, a cooler float, so if you want to make sure that oh. you're really going to enjoy your trip, you can, you can... have a cooler. Oh, stay interesting. Yeah, I would recommend it to anybody. Put, put on sunscreen. How long was the uh, adventure flo floating? Oh, we left about eleven and got off the river about. Five, I think. <gasps> Why do you go pee? In the You're water. in a river. <laughs> you just pee. Make well, sure. you can just pee. I can't just pee. You mean you got out of your raft? Yeah. You got out of your tube? Oh, I go swimming. Oh. There's, there's, oh. there's some nice spots in the river. You go swimming. It's oh. nice and warm. So it's a anyway, whole day adventure. Oh, we haven't even done it in a welcome. Welcome. Hi, to everybody. Has anybody <laughs> done? <laughs> Who's late today? What oh. do you mean, Sue? Uh, yeah. All oh, of us. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for joining us for another yeah. episode of Shenanigans. Yeah. With yes, uh, we've we've got... had plenty of shenanigans, yes, right? Yes, we've got all sorts of fun stuff today. Yeah.
Um, I guess shop news get us started. We have the comfy pullover class this Saturday. Oh my goodness. If you are interested, sign up again. I need you all to sign up by the end of the day tomorrow. Tomorrow. So that we know that people are coming to the class. So that and we can And they just make, have to bring you little sewing machines. Just bring right? you little sewing machines, yes. We, we should. <gasps> Did you see one of Brother's News events? You know, he says he says these things. I have my been... squirrely brain goes, <gasps> they're coming out with an ear threading serger. It doesn't surprise me. What do you mean? Me. They're supposed to announce it this week. I'm sure they will announce it. I'm just saying it doesn't surprise I'm very me. They're, they're kind of late to that game, but yes. But that's exciting. That is. That's been one of the problems. Not a problem. Yeah, that's but that's been why. One I, of the reasons why Bra Brother loses in the surgery. Oh, yeah. I've never. And this I don't is, mean loses, but. I love Brother. They make great machines, but whenever somebody comes in and says, I want to buy a surgery, yeah. I always like, buy Juki. Well, maybe you'll be changing your tune and bringing in a surgeon. I'm going to have to bring one because... They're, they air th they're, yes. That's the rumor, people. So sign that's up. the rumor. But sign Along up. with Lumineer 3s. Oh, I can't wait for that announcement. It's probably just an upgrade. I have, yeah, I'm curious oh, there's going to be an upgrade. But yeah. the new ones are coming in with a 3 on them. Okay. They're, they're literally putting a 3 on them. That might explain why I haven't been able to get Lumineers. They're probably like, well, they're holding the out for yeah. the 3s, maybe. Um, I don't know. I might have a 1 upgraded to a 2 that I want to trade for, for a three. just have a 3 on I, it. I can, you know, I'm sure we can figure something keep my, out. Oh, yes. Keep my stuff rolling. But rolling. as it, back, to, back to what we're talking about, Comfy Pullover Class is going to be on Saturday. Oh, if yeah, you're interested, sign up that. for that that online sooner than later so we know who's coming um, bring your sewing machine you'll also want to uh, bring if you have a favorite sweatshirt that you want to model it after bring that with you because our mm -hmm. instructor actually is actually going to show you how to take that and use that to make the pattern without the taking over. it apart without I believe without taking it apart oh. yes cool. I'm yes I asked her actually oh, you don't need to take it apart we're just gonna use it for measurements I'm like, oh, that's awesome. cool. cool. yeah so she's got um, so that that's gonna be the class on Saturday she's she was going to do pants and everything all one day, and I'm like, uh, Ashley, I'm... We can only handle so much I'm like, with you're our getting brains. pretty ambitious, she, but... Just so you all know, she's still young, so her brain works better than ours. Yes, but um, we, better we than also... Better mine, anyway. She we also will have some uh, color options coming. Hopefully, the fabric will be here today for that. Nothing like the last minute of four pines. Well, that's no, it's, it's, been, it's been ordered for a while. Yeah, that's But the idea best. is, like I said, you just show up with your sewing machine, and we'll have the fabric and everything to make it. That's all included in the class. Cool. That's on Saturday. Saturday. Um, the only, oh, Lori, um, the Prairie Kits. I do have a couple sign ups for that online. Sign up if you are interested. There will be limited quantities. We are getting ready to do that. We've got the shapes just came in the other day, so we are probably going to get started on digitizing. We do have the shapes. We do have shapes. So we're going to get started on that. We don't have the size of the blocks yet, though, or do we? We don't. Because I need them for the little extra project. But we have I'm coming up. We have, we have pictures and shapes. We can start doing some math, probably. All right. Um, the other thing is we have fabric that came in. Dun, da, da. Oh. Where's Danny with we our drum this, roll? We got this, uh... She's slacking. So we got, it's, oh, what is it? Uh, Imagine from Better Text came in. It's just a real nice, I just got the case pack of this. I don't have a project for it. I'm sure I can find, I'm going to have a project. I haven't looked it up yet. But it was just kind of a nice kind of abstract modern print. Um, that came in. It's really kind of a fun. It's pretty. And then we got... This came in from uh, Northcott. I was very excited about this. I'm glad to, you're bringing up panels because I have some panels. And this pan, I was I was excited about this panel. I'm still trying to figure out. I mean, there, I think there's a pattern out there for it, but it's just kind of a um, nice kind of. Oh, it fall. really has a face in the moon. Yeah, a little bit of a, a little man in the moon there. Yep, yeah, it's it's and then this is the other panel that goes with it. Um, like I said, both from the same designer. We got a couple coordinates to go with the panels, but. The, given the art style, you can really just kind of work with some real basic tone on tones and really do some fun stuff with that. But those panels came in as well. And that's, I think, oh, and we got this, um, some Aboriginal stuff came in as well. Um, there's two pieces that came in that were supposed to come in with this that got back ordered. But yeah. if you are, we do have other pieces from a previous collection from the same artist that match that quite I got nicely. A familiar. Yeah. So um, we just brought some in to kind of accentuate that. So if you're into the, the um, Aboriginal Australian type stuff, we've got some of that. All of this, I believe, is already on the website at this point. Wowzer. So we've been trying to stay on top of things. I want to, while you're on the discussion of panels, can I can I go yes. backwards to last oh, week? You oh, I forgot. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and show that. Oh, this is the other thing I've got to show. Oh, well, that, yeah, okay. That, that has the panel, I think, in it, doesn't this? 
That's it? We have kits of this available. I think, we, did we show this off yesterday or last week? No. No, it, no. it, it, it came in late. Okay. Well, no, oh, did we show the fabric yes. off? This is one of the discussions I wanted yeah. to talk about. This panel here, shout out to John, one of our viewers. He took this panel, and if oh, you look yeah. on He's our Facebook page, you will see he posted his table runner. I meant to check that out, yes. And I, well, one of us did. And um, there it is, Eddie, thank you. Eddie's pulling it up. He actually took, now, I, I do not see that when I look at this panel. I do not see what he made it into. Yes. He took it, and he sliced it, and he made it into a table runner, and he still got all this other stuff to work with. Yeah, when he bought us, he said he was going to do, he was going to make it a three table runners, one with that, one with the bear, yeah, one with the Yeah, his eye sees stuff yep. I don't see. Oh, yeah. He saw the canoe, he saw the bear, and then he sees the sky. Yeah. And I think that's amazing out of one panel. So shout out to John, very creative. Yeah, and this, we do have kits available for this quilt. Or you can do what he did. Or you can do what John did, just buy some uh, panels, but yeah. Yeah, which that, I thought was really that cute. In, yes. So that's why I wanted this, but you had it up there. So okay. we can put... Did you want this as well? I do want this okay. as well. We're talking about panels. Okay, so that's... I think that's all I have for um, Shop News. Okay, well, while you're still on panels, okay. I want to talk about this panel. Okay. you talked about this last week, but you talked about it for a different reason. But, Dan, this was... A, 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 again, the shout out to people who see panels differently than me. This was one panel... Okay, yeah. and Danny said, here, I only got one left. Use this as one of your giveaways. And I said to Eddie, Eddie, oh, that's so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to use that as a giveaway. Thanks no one, a lot. Why didn't you just tell no me? No one's going to want it. It's ugly. So he goes, well, I'll take it. And then he does this with it. And I never saw what he saw. He, I saw a muted, washed out thing. Okay. As soon as he puts all these colors with it and he breaks it up, I'm like, that possibly cannot be the same panel oh, I went. No one's going to want that. That's <laughs> ugly. But I think it's an interest, It's a good point because it, as you start to break panels up, you can get more and, out of them. And it's the addition of some of the colors yeah, that, that made my brain go, I never even saw those yeah, colors. Yeah, can you bring up John's um, table runner again? Because I think what's interesting about John's table runner, if you look at it, yeah. is that border... Well, is that yeah. border he put on bring it? Up, bring, here, hold up just the panel, not the color. It's amazing to me what because you guys that yellow, do. Because that yellow really brings out those colors. Oh, this um, is a little... What's that? This is a little different, isn't it? Maybe you know. Oh, it is. A, see? See with yeah. my eye? But So here's what he saw. Yeah, and by putting that orange around it, it and really that's pops what, those and colors. And that's what John created. Yeah. And it looks so much happier. Yeah. Well, to me, I, I, it, has little little it looks dark to me. I'm like, eh, eh. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Oh, i got to get panel study. Panel study? Pan I just go, panel, panel. I never think about what else you can do with it. So kudos to Eddie because he took what I thought was really ugly and he made it into something bright and beautiful. Are we doing quiz time this week? I did not quiz time. Okay, I, did, I just have my thing and I wasn't sure if we're doing it because I have other things too that... We both have other No, things. I don't have quiz time, but I'm just saying that we could just go straight to Quilt of the Week. But if you have quiz time... I do we, have a quiz time. We have quizzes. I do. Yay! I got a couple things. Uh, this one is for the $10 GC based on last week's show. I got a giveaway for next week, too. Okay. Oh, yeah. Busy, busy. You're going to be sorry I wasn't here because it just means I bottle up everything. <laughs> um, so, for quiz time, last week, one answer. $10 GC if you get it right. I know, Sue. I know. <laughs> Oh, she's being, she, yes. she's being, are you, are you still in um, Florida, Sue? Is she mm -hmm. in Florida? Mm-hmm, I think so. Oh, Enjoying yeah. the weather down I mean, there. <laughs> and, anywho, I say, it's, it's very hot. It can't be any better than up here, because we it's live in It's hotter and it's more humid. That's what I'm saying, it's yeah. more of a swamp. Yeah. Um, quiz time. Yes. you got to keep me on track today. Okay. Quiz time. Okay, here it is. Last week's show, Brent had the audacity to compare his version of Sewing Badly with Brent to a famous person, <laughs> a famous person, who was that person? He said, it's like something something with somebody somebody. Audacious? Oh, yes it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, yeah, so there's no, no comparison. No, because... No, well, no. 
Yeah. He's the one that taught me there are no ah, tricks. You're only, giving away secrets. Only happy accidents. Oh, there's your big <laughs> hint, people. Big hint. Anybody? 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 Is anybody even watching today? Sue's there. Sue's she there. is yeah. a stone yeah. floor. Let's, anybody? We, anybody? Who did we, Brent compare himself we to? We scared him all away last week with the sewing Karen? badly. With Oh no. No. <laughs> no, there are no accidents. There are <laughs> there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. Happy accidents. accidents. He's not talking about me peeing on the log ride. <laughs> <laughs> that was a happy accident. <laughs> well, it was an accident. And I was happy to get off, so mm, either one. Going over that lift always does it. And the person in the back goes, You did not and Adriana says, Did you really pee right? I go, Oh, was it a little tinkle? The person behind me goes, You need to tell them that so they can wash this. <laughs> it's a log ride, people. It was all wet, right? Already. So you just... I'm like I said, I didn't really, I was just kidding. Yeah. I'm telling him to wash my log. <laughs> wash my log. <laughs> Nobody knows. Danny with hey. The, where's Danny with the That's what she said. Mrs. But. Becky's in the house. Yay. Yay. And nobody knows the answer, even with that big hint. Happy accidents? No mistakes? Nobody knows it. His hair's out to here in it's, his it's, younger days. It's like Eddie used to have a fro. No? No? Oh, boy. I thought... Everybody. He was also the art instructor in the Boondocks episode. B M. With... <laughs> <laughs> That's, B -R. That's an oh yeah. That's B -R. It is. <laughs> I was giving another hint. It's the wrong hint. <laughs> Mom, you're watching, so you'll B M. No, B R. You'll, 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 you'll appreciate the B M time. <laughs> Apparently, nobody. <laughs> Yeah. What? I mean, Teresa knows that. Well, when did well, she say it? Well, what's the answer? I didn't say that. I did say I didn't hear you. We what? can't hear you over ourselves. Bob Ross. Bob, Bob Ross! Ross! Teresa wins! Teresa, Yay! oh, thank you for saving our butt, Teresa. Woo! Woo! I'm still scared. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting. That was supposed to be interesting. I have a giveaway for next week. Okay. And it's gonna work how we did before. I, it looks like I'm gonna want this giveaway. You're gonna. Well, you can you can comment and hope you win <laughs> it too. I don't care. But it's gonna work how we did with the spinning wheel. Yes. After the show is posted, you need to make a comment on the video. This is a really good giveaway. I'm. Yeah. It is a entire kit. To make the, and the instructions, and she even has a video on YouTube. So if you don't know how to make pinwheels, she'll show you how to make them. And it's gnomies. I love garden gnomes. Oh, there you go. And it's winter snowman. It's really cute, which is why I got it. I thought I was. I mean, they're make not really it. garden gnomes. They're like traditional gnomes. I like garden. Well, they're, gnomes. No, look at they're cute. Yeah, they but have little. I got you. Look at the backing. Come on. Look at the look at the fabric, Brent. I am. I print. like it. It's cute, it's right? Fantastic. I like the moose in it. It's fantastic. I know. So the secret, the secret word is that the you have to day. post is gnomies. Yeah. I want my gnomie. You want? Well, that's gnomie. a phrase. Do I want the phrase. You want the phrase? I want. My I gnomie. want my gnomie. Do you remember? Because you said the secret word. Do you all remember that fantastic Saturday morning show, Pee Wee's Playhouse? Even the beer is cute. Even if you don't want to make the table run. And they would have like the word of the day that if you said it during the episode, everybody would scream and make a fit. Who did that? Pee Wee's Playhouse. Oh, yes. Yes. Where, okay. Where great I actors such gnomie. as Samuel Jackson got their start. You know, he's in there. He's like some cowboy. He's really kind of yeah. funny. I, yeah, I guess I missed in the boat on that you one. With what a surprise. Anyway, this is really cute. And the patent's in here, too. You're good to go. Brent, you can apply. I can apply? You can apply because then we're going to do I the spinning apply. wheel. You know. Why? It's wicked cute. Okay. You can do the spinning wheel. The spinning wheel. Okay. So that's... So it's all by luck and chance, but you need to comment or you can't be entered yes. to win next week. And what was the magic phrase? I want my gnomi. I want my gnomies. My gnomies. Something with gnomi in it. My gnome. Make sure you have a gnome in it. My gnome. My gnome. My yeah. gnome. Yeah, I know, Becky, right? It's super cute. Okay. All right. So that's that. Quilt of the Still week. Still cleaning my closets. Quilt of the week. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Quilt of the week.
And I picked this one because of the theme. Because it's Star Wars. Yes, and it was yes. fantastic. Yeah, and it's different because of the color scheme. Yeah, it's a different with yeah. Star Wars. It's got a fun and style. Out of the way. And again, it's just, it's just I believe this is probably uh, I don't cute. know if that's a yellow brick road or it's just kind of a scrap quilt with some fun stuff. Um, but that is our quilt of the week. It's really cute. Yeah. I love her backing too. And the backing is fantastic. Yeah. And it matches his shirt. Well, yeah. Well, so no, I don't know if it matches it. Theme wise. Theme, theme yes. Wise. The theme okay. is the same, yes. Yeah, that's really cute. And but yes. the first name of the winner is? It's Candace. Candace! Yay. $50 towards the, the quilt. $50 off your quilting. quilting. Yes. Woohoo! Congratulations. And just a shout out. Thank you. Danny's back. Danny's back. She's been gone when I needed her. Yes, but okay. She has returned. So, her, Danny, what would you do if Becky said, I need to wash off my log? That's what no, she I said. No, I said, don't wash my log off. <laughs> That's what she said. Leave my log alone is what I said, <laughs> mister. Anyway. That How was do I know he didn't urinate on the log? <laughs> <laughs> so, that quilt of the week? Nobody's going to ride yeah. that ride anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I got news for you. The water slide was no different. What? So did you drop me from the sky? <laughs> <laughs> all I was going to say is uh, <laughs> j just for all those people out there that make gifts for people and they are a Star Wars fan, Star Wars is not Star Trek. Okay. Just, just thought yeah. I'd throw, throw that out true. there. This is true. This is true. I, I run not. into that on occasion and I'm just putting that out there. Okay. As a Star Thank Wars fan. Thank you for that. You're, just, you're welcome. Okay. And Firefly is a very niche right. sci-fi. Okay. Anyhow, oh my moving goodness. on. Yes, let's move on. Turbo tip. A turbo tip is sort of my whole thing, so do okay. you want to say that? Yeah, I don't have much on the workbench today. Lucky oh, for good. You, but I can just, I'm just going to go through real quick. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> um, I know that we've been doing Sewing Badly with Brent. Lumi 3. Lumi and, 3. And stuff Lumi like that. Can't wait but I did three. want to talk about something. I've seen a couple issues um, have come through with quilts on the long arms in the last week or so. Oh. And if you watched last week, you saw how I put things together badly. One of the things that um, we see on occasion is border. I know I've talked about this before, is wavy borders. And that's funny. That's what I'm going to talk about. Oh, you're going to about. talk about waving? But not about waviness, but how yes. to get your borders just so. I just want to talk about wavy borders because okay. um, sometimes if you have wavy borders and you bring it to get quilted and it comes back, it's got a couple pleats in it because we had to work the waves out. The proper way to attach a border is to measure your quilt, cut your border to length. We will and be discussing that today. And attach it to your quilt. The way that I attach borders is I... Throw it on, sew it, and cut it, and and cut cut it, it out off. after. Chop it off. Yeah. If you are going to do the lazy way, which Becky will tell you not to, you have to be careful not to stretch the quilt as you're attaching it. One of the things that you can run into is as you're attaching the border, you can pull the, um, you can stretch the, the quilt as you're attaching it. Mm -hmm. So then that's what leads to wavy borders is the fact that your borders are longer than the actual quilt because you've stretched it to attach it. And then you cut it, and then everything kind of contracts a little bit, so that gives you the wave. Um, I was, I just wanted to talk about that. I know we have previous videos to talk about this. There it's are actually also best to take three separate measurements yes. before you determine the size of that. Yes, border. you take the, the the measurement from each end in the middle, mm -hmm. get the average, mm -hmm. and that is the border you attach. And you may have to ease in. Yep, ease in or stretch, but and that's, that's better than. That's better than my way of doing it. You don't want dog ears on your Yeah, because if you've quilt. got it where it kind of flares out, what happens is when you try and quilt it, that those flares lead to, to pleats because you've got to try and work that in to get everything yeah. to lay flat. Yeah. I actually take it a little step further because you know you do. I'm more obsessed with things. I will measure on both the border I'm about to attach and the piece I'm attaching to, I will measure from the middle out two more places. So when I start to pin, I pin in the middle, I pin at the end, and I have two predetermined measurements to pin at. And then if I have to ease in, it's within those each yep. spot. So I actually measure out where and my placements or pins are going to be before I attach them. And you can take it a step further is you can start in the middle and sew out in one direction and then reverse and sew in the other direction. You, Some you, people you like that. You can, but you can still end up stretching that border if you haven't pinned it accurately. Oh yeah, no, you want to pin, but I'm just saying that some people will start in the middle and sew out. Yep. 
Um, so there is a lot, there is a, a, putting on borders can be a lot more in depth than how I do it. Mm. But keep in mind, there is a trade off. I am all right with that little bit of wave in my border. If or a you, pleat. Or a pleat. If you are making a show quilt, I had this happen once, so that's why I bring this up every now and then. Yeah. Is somebody brought in a um, show quilt. Yeah. And um, we one. started quilting it, and we had to work some pleats in. And they came in, and I'm like, I can't believe you did my quilt. Okay. Yeah. So we took all of the quilting out of the outer borders, because there's two borders. Yeah. And just to get an idea, when we took everything out of the outer borders, how much fabric do you think we had to cut out of the borders to make them lay flat? I, I bet a good inch. No. We took out half a yard of fabric oh my between the goodness. two borders. I'm talking minuscules. Yeah, no, half a yard wow. between the two borders. Wow. So you can imagine. Mm, that, <laughs> so and that, that happens. And yeah. and that is really prevalent among um what's her face? Is it Bonnie Hunter? Who does all the weird little triangle stuff? You'll see it, um, you'll also see it sometimes with these paper piecing ones that you're doing. Because of all the weird bias cuts and the fun little shapes, the more bias cuts and the more shapes that you get, oh. the more likely you are to stretch it. Mm -hmm. um, the more f intricate the, the blocks, the more seams you have, the more stretch room you have. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind, especially bias cut quilts. Yes. You're going to get a lot of stretch. And so and there are proper ways to there. do borders. If you don't think it's happening and it is. Yes, there are proper ways to do borders. Yeah, and we did do a segment on measuring. Yeah, borders. and we've talked about it. I just wanted to bring that up because, like I said, I've seen a couple of quilts come through this yeah. week that we had to kind of ease in some stuff. And mm -hmm. if you watched me last week, like I said, I am all right with it because I know what I'm... I, I'm all right because I know the level of what it's going to cost. Right. And that's kind of the, the trade-off. <laughs> you can be lazy, but you also have to be willing to accept the final product. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just something to keep in mind, that there you can really go a lot deeper into borders it's kind of like um how, how deep you want to go and how perfect you want it to be mm -hmm. i'm sure becky spends probably five times more time on her borders than i, I do. do and even then but there's that's... lots of times i'm unhappy with it but that leads me right into how we're doing on frosty okay so let's Would talk you like about me frosty. To hold up I can hold up Frosty. Now, keep in mind, we're finishing Frosty up. So if you wanted to do Frosty or late to the game, and I'm yeah, sorry. But I'm going to teach you about borders by showing you off where we're And if with you Frosty. are excited about Frosty, keep in mind that our prairie, our upcoming prairie that Oops, I've been I trying to shill oh, is going shit. to be a similar... Oh, it's upside down. The prairie, the prairie project that's coming up, we're going to give it a similar treatment that we've done to Frosty. Okay. Our finishing decision is different than the patent. Now, in the patent, they have you make all these lovely little star blocks. What we decided to do, and I've only got one red one on because I wanted to demonstrate how I was doing this. Um, we decided to give you a plentiful amount of stars, and you can place them in your border anywhere you want. They're put on with our embroidery machine. I know, it's cute, right? It is. It looks nice. And um, I'm doing one star. And, I, and you can do whatever you want. I was able to come up with a nifty way of putting my, making my border and putting my stars on before attaching it to the quilt. So it flew after I finally figured that part out. At first, I pre-cut all my borders, sewed them all on, and then went, now what am I going to do? <laughs> nah, took them all off. And unfortunately, the white ones were already pre-cut, so there was a lot of easing in to make those fit. The red ones that you'll see over here, um, I was able to measure appropriately. I left probably an inch leeway, but I want to show you how when I get near the end, it still ends with the ribbon. Like, you don't see my quilting go into the next sashing. It looks like... It's a custom quilt. Yeah, can you? They don't you run the off, off the border. They run to the end of the border and stop. Some of that quilting, because the quilting is actually quite interesting. I'm looking at the back, like, why are there put houses? And I look at the front. Oh, she put houses I, on it. Well, this is a yeah. Kimberbell uh, border. Yeah. Which, you know, I like because I can get any size I want. And, yeah. yeah and, I like it. Yeah. And then we placed the stars and then we made the red borders. And after much, so this is what you're going to be getting in your finishing kit. And you can decide you don't want to put the stars on. Like Danny was saying, she thought, I did not use all her stars. 
you got more you got plenty of stars in your in your pit. <laughs> I left probably four off, I think. I think they were all on the so side. So just so anybody that's getting the kit, these yeah, I can see these stars are actually pre cut as a They're single piece. They're pre cut and you're and gonna then, get the um and then the, PDS files and to then put the, them on and anywhere then the you want. Stitching creates the seam to make them look like they were pieced. Yeah. You, Pretty you're, cool, right? You're gonna grab a star there for me, Eddie. So you can see how that star there is a single piece, but it's the appliqued. Appliqued is a single piece, but the stitching gives it that star look. Yep. Kind of fun. Danny and I, man. All Robert. right, so so now you're gonna show us borders. I want to talk about one of the neatest inventions that we don't talk about enough. I have seen this. Oh. And I have know that there's a few people that love this. Well, can I hold it up and show you people? You sure can. You can. You go ahead and talk about it. Cause it's a. Um, I got, can't wait to show you how wonderful it works. This has actually been around for a while. This it is, has. This, this is a sash. What they call the sashing hoop or border. Continuous hoop. border hoop. Yeah. Um, they use they had one called the sashing hoop. It's a little, the dimensions are a little different, I think. They come, I think, brother only makes them in like two sizes. There's yeah. not there's not a lot of options. It's not like magnetic hoops where they come I in wish, a bunch of sizes. I wish they would get them even wider. Yeah, but, but um, I make it, it work. this is this is made specifically for what you're about to do, and yeah, I will leave it to you to have that. It, fun. Okay, the the beauty of this hoop, my friends, is how easy okay, it is. Okay, you gotta you gotta switch to this camera for a second yeah. because it's a real funny view that we get. Oh. <laughs> Poor Danny. That was the that was the enigmatic Danny. <laughs> the beauty of this hoop over uh, and you can do this process with a magnetic hoop, but I'm going to show you how much faster this hoop. Yeah, makes I was going to say because that, that was the question I was going to have that, that I had thought that with the advent of the magnetic hoop that everybody loved, that that would kind of be the. Um, oh, I probably shouldn't have put that hoop on quite yet. Um, the thing is, and I don't know if we can see, it has like little teeth. In fact, I'm going to get my little scraper out when I'm done with this quilt to clean it up. My little hair shredding machine yeah. works well on this too. Um, the beauty of this is that those little rough teeth, if you will, yeah. hold your piece down yeah. so well. You can take it in and out. Like when I was doing the stars, yeah. you can take it in and out. You Nothing's going to move. And it's quick. So just just for a demonstration on how fast it is, and I'm gonna, sh I'll show in more detail how I line up. But watch, I put my sashing in, and I go click, click. So we didn't so. Put the other one. Oh, sorry. There. So so. I'm done. But hold on, leave it there. Okay, it's not going anywhere. It does not. And I'm okay. gonna show you how easy it is to line it up with a luminaire. So then I and, and then I just advance again. Look at you, your magnetic hoops cannot beat me. Cannot. And where do you see what else I'm going to show you? Oh yeah, that's this. kind of a nice setup. All it's right. amazing. I think I got one of them in stock, and everybody's going to want one. Got to order. They more. are awesome. Now, can I show you the next beautiful part? Sure. I'm, I'm going to pretend that. Show this, Show me something cool. Chua. I'm going to pretend that this has not been not been done up yet. Okay. It's okay. So just so the first you, thing you, I'm going to do to mark. See, yeah, the, those see the, are moose those, I, yeah, the moose I made that's at our so class. That's so cute. That's really cute. Well done. Well done. Um, what I what I do before I even get started is I measure and I add an inch because some of your borders shrink up more when you're quilting than others. I don't say that's my final measurement. That's my starting point. I mark the center. Can I put this down for here for a minute, Ed? Thank you. I don't know if you can really see it, though. I mark the center line all the way down. Yeah, you can kind of see that center line on there. Okay. And I, there, there we go. go. And I mark my, the center line going this way. Those are the only two marks I need to make this work. All right. That's it. Now, you went... Does the pattern tell you how wide that border is supposed to be? Yes, we tell and you, you. And you're just going to stick with the with the pattern measurement for that border? Yes. Okay. Okay, so now I've got a strip, 
and I've got, and it's an inch longer because I'm quilting it before I put it and on. Just as a, I'm not to interrupt. Yeah. But this goes back to borders where you were saying that you're measuring your quilt to get the final length of this. Mm -hmm. A lot of times patterns will tell you how long to cut your borders. Oh no, they, they actually tell you to, to check. Yeah. Well, well some, no, I guess they do tell you, but don't go yeah, by it. And we'll, I would say always measure your quilt top. Don't go by what the pattern yeah, tells you always. for the length of your border. The width of it, um, that that's. You can go by that. Oh, I didn't put the embroidery foot on. It's going to yell at me. Will, will it, yeah, I'm not really going to embroider. I'm just going to demonstrate. You. you won't yell at no. me? Okay. So on my stick that I brought in today, I brought in what I have actually used on my quilt. Again, it, you can you can do... I chose... Uh, Kimberbell has a, a little border package that included the houses and what I call my ribbon candy. Mm -hmm. And I chose to use that. The first thing I did, of course, was decide how wide something needed to be based on the, what I wanted it to look like on here. And then if I didn't, if they didn't have exactly what I wanted and they didn't, I easily resized it on my machine using, well, I pro probably should show you that. Let's pick this up. No, I shouldn't show them no, that? No, you should. Okay, I'm going to pick one up. Um, if I needed to resize this, I would simply go into edit Go to size mode. Make sure, make sure, let me get some to Make sure this little guy is turned on because that means I'm going to recalculate stitches. Stitch density, yes. Yes. Don't, if you do it without that off, you're not going to get as beautiful results. That's the bottom you line. You also cannot um, you adjust can only, it as far. You can't. It, you, it, it keeps stops it with, you. I want to say it's a 20% maximum yeah. up or down because they're not adjusting for stitch um, density yes. right now what you're seeing on this one right now is the, is the crosshairs which by the way if your design doesn't come in with crosshairs and they don't y'all remember I told you to make a crosshair and keep it in the memory of your machine remember all you got to do is hit add once save it in memory and now it's stuck on your pattern remember people the crosshair, crosshair. you need your crosshair there which is what you see and you can make your crosshair after you add it. You can make it longer or skinnier, whatever you need, the same way, just by adjusting the sizes. This started out as... Was a, I out that day? Well, crosshair? I'll show you about adding cross. You should have a crosshair in the memory of your machine. Yeah, I don't if you remember don't have it, you need to add it. Because it comes in handy over and over again. If I don't have a crosshair right now, how am I going to line this thing okay, up? Okay, hold on a second. Let's take a step back. Anybody like, I remember that. It took forever. <laughs> okay, then never mind. If it's out there, I just No, was... no, no. She's still talking about something else. Oh. What I do on my crosshair... So because you can set the machine to display a crosshair, but you actually have a stitch crosshair I in do. It. Well, well it's, I don't know if I have it on this machine. I've added it already to my file. Yeah. But what I have on my machine, in memory, yeah. on my machine... Yes. Whoops, I just added something. <laughs> So go add, back. Yeah. I don't. I don't really wanted to add. I wanted to go back and see if I had it over here on yeah. this machine. That's. I got a bunch in there because I used this to demonstrate the moves. Yeah, that's okay. Just go. No, okay, we don't have I don't. It. I honestly, uh, clear blue tiles brings it in. But truthfully, in Design Center, you you want to show them how to make one. We'll just do it real quick. Oh yeah, because it's something that. Yeah. So how would you, how, how would you make it? Just, I would just make a square. And, and put two lines in it and then get rid of the square because I just want my crosshairs. And you can resize it in your embroidery Moving mode. Up. So it can be any size you need. Moving no, up. just draw two squares. Two squares? And then another square? No, well, I was just going to split it in half. Oh, well, okay, hold on. It's just two lines. That's all you need, two lines that are perpendicular to one another. Yeah, so if you do this You can shape, draw two lines. Yeah, but if you go there... Well, okay, that's even better. Because then you can just connect the dots, right? Okay, all right, and yeah. Then you, and They're then you already, you'll know they line up. Is that what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Of course I didn't. Oops, it would help if I did the right tool. I wouldn't make it zigzag, just so you know. Yeah, I know. But, but that's all right. Anyway, I see what you're saying. So you yeah. just make a crosshair. Right, or you take one that I, I know with clear blue tiles, it comes with a crosshair line as part of one of your files. Save it. A lot of the stuff in Kimberbell 
first thing it does is put a crosshair down. And I'm like, first time I saw that, I said, oh, saving that to my machine because I can use that again and again now, and again. Now, do you and have again. to make sure that this crosshair is in the middle or you just make a random crosshair? It just has to be perpendicular. Okay. Because as you'll see, if you go back to what I was working yeah. with, I had a long line and a short line, but they were perpendicular lines. Yes. If you look, if you... I can see, yeah, I can see it over here. The, see how tall my cross... Oh, yeah. that's not my crosshair. See how tall my crosshair is? Yeah. I can actually go into edit, and if it was important to me that that crosshair extend the whole distance... You can... Because sometimes it is important to me. I can actually just re... Oh, I guess that's as big as it's going to let me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well that's because you didn't oh, have well. the side lighted, so... Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. So now we can go bigger, but it's not going to go all the way. But it, that's how I can blow it up or shrink it down depending yeah. on where I'm using it. Yep. Yeah. That's all that is. So, And then once I add that onto there... I then say that to my memory or my stick or whatever. Yep. Now it's part of my pattern. Yep. Now I don't have to remember to bring the crosshairs in again and again and again. Now, are you stitching the crosshairs out when you stitch? No, just, skipping, just for alignment. Just for alignment, okay. And watch. When I go to OK over here, something else a lot of people forget about, and I tell you, it bit my butt so many times. I said, I'm going to talk about this. This is my turbo tip on the show. Okay. We need our crosshairs for alignment. But we don't want them to stitch out. And typically, if you have a dream machine, you are stitching them out to help you align yeah. your fabric because you don't have a projector. With a Lumineer, I have a projector. So I don't need to stitch these crosshairs out. So I kept stitching them out by mistake because they were the first thing. Yeah. And I went, Becky, just change the stitching order and be done with it. And they're at the end. And all you have to do is hit this little button right here, people. And I, you can see I've changed it now. But let's say it was first. Yep. Do you see what these buttons do? This is highlighted. Yep. That puts it first. I kept stitching it. I'm like, no! There you go, go last. Okay. Change your stitching order. It's easy as pushing what you want to change and where you want to put it. It's like... Right there, right there, in your machine in embroidery mode. I'm yes. not going out to design center. It's right there. Okay. Got it? I'm with you. You're with me? Are you guys with me? Where did I lose you all? So say okay. okay. Now watch the beauty of this hoop and this machine. If I haven't convinced you these guys are worth every penny, this killed me. Okay. Go into embroidery mode. I okay. gotta have him do something so he doesn't start yawning. I don't know. I'm, I'm with you. I'm learning here. Hit the projector. Now this is my middle one. I'm doing my middle first, right? Watch. Can we get this shot? Get the money shot, Eddie. This is the money shot. Where do you see this money shot? Now I told him that's not really it. Can you can you go up a little bit, Eddie, on the, the camera, bring the lift the whole thing up? What I told you I drew on my sashing was a middle crosshair. What my projector is sending me is my middle crosshair. Push the frame down too. Not yet. What do you mean not yet? I'm gonna Frames show you why. Yeah. Okay. There you go. You're rushing me, Danny. You're rushing me. I was oh. just trying to get a better angle. You will see it. So what yes. I've drawn with my friction pen there, is right a there. middle line all the way down my sashing and one middle line for the center of my sashing. What I am now projecting is the whole pattern, but the most important thing is the crosshair I added to the center of my pattern. Um, can I hold on just a second? I'm going to just change... Oh, you're going to change the... I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to just, I just want to change the colors to... Do um, you think that'll show up better? Yeah. I, I just need the crosshair to show right now. It's all I really, that's all I care about on my projector right now is the crosshair. Um, let's go... I think like a yellow should show up pretty good. It's the lighting. I have it in yeah. black and I like it in black. Brent's gonna try and get it to show. You can can you see the cross? You can see the crosshairs on my material. Yeah, no, that was yellow didn't help at all. So no. it's darker. Okay, hold on. We leave can it, fix it. Leave it black, yeah. Mister. Uh, <laughs> here I was thinking I was doing something smart. Or deep gray. 
that, that's fine. Well, you had like fine. a dark. Yeah, I probably had it on dark purple. It was like a dark blue, I think. Yeah. It's a, it was a dark color. Because I'm line now all I'm doing with my projector is I'm lining up the cross oh, yeah, here I good. see on the projector. See the projector? I'm taking, I can clearly see. Watch this. Forget my fabric for a minute. See how I have a cross here on my projector? Don't care about your loop-de-loops right now. All I'm caring about is that cross here. I'm going to make that cross here line up with the cross here I drew on my fabric. That means the middle of this first design will be in the middle of my border. If you want to switch to this camera, Eddie, see if that... There we go. Okay. So that, that's paper. But now yeah. I'm going back to my fabric. And I literally, with this frame, I am just moving it till they line up. And then I am holding it down, and I am snapping, and I am snapping. All right. Let's let that focus back in, maybe. That's how easy it is. So, um, go back to this one. Let me see if we can get a good view. You cannot do that with a magnetic hoop. So... Let's unsnap that because you can you see. You push these little belly yeah, buttons. Yeah, you see where the the crosshairs are lined up. Mm -hmm. Let's just unline it up with the. How do you push know? your belly button. Oh, the belly button. On both sides. I got you. I just want to move it a little bit so people can see what the crosshairs look like when they're not lined up. Okay. And you're kind of seeing it because the projector is kind of giving a funky, kind of a funky wave thing going on. But you can see that line there. Yeah. Does not line up with, with my the, fabric. Yeah, and this line here is your pro, is that the projector? That's the, the projector. Pro, that's the projector, projector line there. That's your fabric line, yeah. and so you're just trying. Right. And you can kind of see it here in the middle too. How they do? You got those two crosshairs. Yeah. Um, we're just gonna line that up, and then. You, I'm all I'm lining up right now is my crosshairs. Yeah. That's okay. it. Now. Is that where you like it? And this is how easy it is. I go. Oh yeah, that looks good right there. Push this down. Click, click, oh, yeah. sorry, click, click. Now watch what I can do. Okay, hold on, let me move back over here so people can. <laughs> okay. I was just trying to get them the back. It's pretty cool in all honesty, and it goes fast, which is what I like. And it's accurate. Just, I just kind of went. This frame will work with the dream machines too, but you don't have the projector. So if I'm doing a dream machine, notice I have no stabilizer. Okay, this right? camera should be good. I don't have to use a stabilizer either. Well, this is um this is absolutely battle yep. actually battle okay. which has a one side has a fusible side, so I didn't have to go. Pfft. So what did we want to show them over here? I want to move my projector to show you with my finger or whatever. I want to move it so how I can check that it's still on at this end and it's still on and down at this end. And if it were not, all I do is release my belly button and go... Mm, 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 on one side. On one side, whichever side is off okay. and line it up and, and I'm going on. again. Okay. I'm going again. So now watch the magic. Stitches out. I'm moving yep. on to my next one. And all I do is push my little belly buttons. This does not have to come off yep. the machine. I'm going to pretend I'm going down. Because yep. I always go from the middle and out. I don't okay. start at the end. So now I'm moving up. And this time, my projector's still on, right? And what I want is I still want to line up in the middle. Wait a minute. I've got a line for the middle yep. on my fabric. And I don't want to run into the neck. The, oh, that scares me every time I do that. Runs into the next guy. So my projector is now showing me where it's going to start. And my cross here is showing me where to put the middle. So I'm looking at my projector and I'm going, okay, I want it to be e I just eyeball. You can draw a line, but I don't need so to. So after you get the first one in the center done, you don't. the crosshairs themselves aren't as important as the center line. Well, the vertical... That's what I'm saying. The, the, yeah, the vertical line. Uh, on, the cross. on my crosshair is... Still yes. useful. But the horizontal is, is irrelevant not. at this point. Uh, he doesn't matter anymore. I just needed him in the beginning to make sure I was straight. Was there any math involved to figure out how many repeats you're putting on this border? Very little. Okay. My concern was the width of mine. Okay. How I wanted the width. And I also wanted l plenty of play within my hoop. So I said, I don't want to do a 12-inch oh, one because I have no play. No, no. I want to. I want to have lots of room to play. So I said to myself, I'm either going to do a 10 inch, 
And in my case, I said, these are so easy, I'm going down to seven. Because I don't care how many times I have Now, to my do question it. is, because I'm looking at the pattern, is yeah. you can actually, the pattern itself that Kimberbell does comes with a different numbers of repeats. It does. So you can, when we get you can to scale the end, the end a little bit. Exactly yep. okay. what I, I did. see what you're doing. Yep. So the math is okay. not critical. Blue tiles again for and, the win. And when, the how, when I, I did didn't the want, houses, I Brent, didn't want to like blue tiles. I'm I like, didn't, I I'm love like, the design. I'm telling the you. The design side of it is fantastic. When I, I did the houses, did again, I could have done four houses at a time, but I said, no, I want flexibility. I'm going to go to three houses at a time. And I did start in the middle. When I get near the end and they doesn't fit... Mm -hmm. I've got choices available to me. And then you can scale it a little bit, but you don't yeah. have to scale it so much that it looks stupid because that no. would be my concern. and that's exactly what I did I on the houses, and you couldn't tell. I couldn't, and, I, no. and so you don't need math because when you get to the end, you figure it out You then. figure out, is it one <laughs> house, is it a tree, it. is it a this? Or, but now watch how cool is the hoop and this projector. Now I've got, I could, I've got, it's projecting down where the next one is starts because yep. I've got this at the top this is where my last one just finished I literally eyeball and go yeah that looks that looks like it's straight and then so I'll, I'll actually just put whoops I gotta move this guy down to pop him in I will actually push this one down I know that end is good what I don't know at this point is is it straight it's all straight, the way yep. to the next end so guess what I don't push this one down yet see my projected yep. line See, can you see it? Yeah. Whoops, and I didn't have it above the hoop, then, which yes. isn't going to work. You need to, we'll there we go. I got it. Okay. I'll redo the other, this is how fast it is. I go, yeah. oh, there, then I can come back up here if I need to do a small adjustment because Becky locked it in too soon. And again, what are you using to mark that center line again? Or is I use a, a friction pen. Friction pen, okay. You can use, you can use anything you want. Some people are scared of friction pens. I'm not, I love them. You can use a chalk line. You can use... Uh, have you used friction oh. pens on direct fabric? They may have fixed the problem. When we first started using friction pens... They would get come back when they're cold. That's the no. big thing. They were bleaching fabric. Yeah, I don't... I have never had any okay. of that occur. That might have been just an early issue. Yes. I have proof. I believe you. Today. Oh. Well, I use them all the time. Yeah, I, I, on light fabric, you don't see it. On dark fabric, um, like, have you used it on red before? This whole thing. Oh, okay. And some of them were already done oh, and on mind. and ironed out. We, we notice it on black. Oh, okay. Anyway, well, a side chalk, note. A roller chalk thing works well. Yep. Uh, if it's a water soluble, you can use that too. Um, just get fine point. I mean, this is as accurate as your lines are. Yep. That's all I suggest. But now you can see I'm ready to go again. Yeah. Now let's get to the very end. Where I'm not sure I get to the very end... And it's the la I know it's the last one I'm going to do, okay? I don't know exactly what its size it is yet, though. Guess what I got to go back to before I do this last one? Cool. I got to remeasure. I got to remeasure from the center down in case I've had shrinkage. Yes. And that's why you'll see on here I've drawn a new line. Where do you want me, Ed? On my fabric, do you see what I did? I drew a new line to suggest, oh, this this has got to be this size. Because remember, I had it oversized? Yep. And it turns out with this particular pattern, there's very little shrinkage. No, the pattern, so I didn't really need it oversized. The pattern and also your batting will contribute to shrinkage. If you have a higher loft batting, you will get... Um, because it's got to take up that space somewhere, you'll yeah. get you also get shrinkage on, yeah. on a higher so loft batting. That's, that's why. Well, why well, don't suggest a higher loft for for the, this frosty project? I would stick with my Kimberbell batting, or I would use um, the battleizer, or possibly eighty twenty. I don't know. The thickness has to met, be equal to. Yeah. But, the, but I'm just I saying not, other if you pick a if higher higher quilt quilting thing, I would yeah. definitely go with either. Um, uh, the stick with the Kimberbell, and you notice that these are all sashed together. Yeah, I, I yeah. didn't. I didn't get. They call battle set. What do they call that? Battle. Battle scar. Franken. Franken batting. Oh. It's Franken batting. <laughs> I just zigzagged them together. No big deal. But when you get to the end, you're going to want to make sure you remeasure your strip, determine where your endpoint's going to be, 
And the beauty of these designs in this projector is I can then, I can actually measure what I want for that and pick up another Kimberbell repeat pattern. And for me, that's close to this length. And for me, the width was, was more important than anything yep. else. I wanted it to match the width of the, of the previous one. So that I did the resize thing all over again, projected it down the middle, finished it off, and I'm done. And I just want to show this. Um, then I'll show you what else. Can we just zoom in for a second? Because I just want to point this out to people because I think this is where um, Kimberbell Blue tiles is awesome. Yeah, I didn't even use the physical blue so tile. If you, I just used the, the blue pattern, tile yeah. designs. But the blue tile designs are. Can you zoom out a, minute, a little but bit? But you could have. You could have laid it out. With which, the blue what tiles. you'll notice is you'll see that from my finger, my thumb down here to here. As I'm. Can you zoom out any more, or is that as far as out as it goes? There you go. Yeah. You can kind of see it, but from my thumb down here to my thumb up here, that's one repeat. And there are how many loops? And you've got, um, and you're getting four Six, loops per seven, side. Eight. What makes the blue tile patterns awesome is she didn't need as many, so the repeat's a lot shorter here. So what blue but tiles But I still did, wanted the ribbon ends. The ribbon ends. To look like candy ribbons. So the blue tiles had a version of that same pattern that just had two two loops per side versus four. Yep. So you didn't have to go in and do any crazy editing. No, you just I just picked, made sure my width was good. You just made sure your width was good and picked and picked the loop and that- And made sure the length was the, right. The, the length that was closest right to where you Right on at. my machine. Yeah. Right on my machine. Yeah. And added my crosshair. Yeah. And then, and then I saved that. But the fact that there's, you had the, t the different amounts of loops you have, on the same pattern- Yes, it you makes have it, actually Probably six or seven. Yeah, varieties. and that's and that's yeah. what makes the blue tile pattern so valuable yeah. is the fact that you can tile it. And the same thing happened with the houses, and they packaged the ribbon candy with the houses. So to yeah. me, it was a no-brainer for my. So yes, my thing. I'm a big fan of the blue tile designs. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to to tell you about was how I after I had this all done, I know I'm going to cut my batting out of my seams because I don't want any batting in my seams. And what I did was um, use our friend Water Soluble in the top and ran a basting stitch more than a quarter inch in. And the reason I did that is I don't want any batting in my seam. I don't even want a smidgen if I can get away with it. And if you're using a tool like Trimmer by George, you still end up with, did I bring it? I did. Betty, you want to go over here? It, so by well, that's a fa these those that's like an upgrade. The, it you had, is. It did is. you see the original one? Yes, I have it the was, original it was one like too. A tin piece of tin. Yeah, folded. this one is much nicer. It yes, and yeah. I and I bent mine so often. This uh, this is the version three, and it is much more sturdier. Plus, it includes a ruler. So yeah. if you go like that, you have a ruler too. But what they have you do, and I did use it, is they have you go down like this because I want to take the excess batting off before I attach my, my thing. When you go like this, and you move it over, and you slice, if this water-soluble basting line is right at a quarter inch, I'm going to have a bit of batting, because I, I can't slice all the way to my stitching yes. line. So what I did is I went a smidgen over, yeah, you've got about the, a millimeter. Yeah, because you've got the, the width of the trimmer is what you're going to be yeah. able to batting up. Yeah. So I went like a millimeter over, so when I slice it, now it's out of my seam allowance. And the beauty of using the water soluble is squirt, squirt, squirt. And it's gone. It's gone. And when you do adjust the width of your, um, adjust, this works on most machines, adjust the, adjusting the stitch width on a straight stitch moves the needle, so you can still use the same reference point on your foot. Yes. Um, that you're sewing off of. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I did. I just moved it to yep. instead of like six millimeters, five millimeters. Or yeah, I think like yeah, I think it defaults but, to three point five. And normally people will cringe because they go, "Now I have to pick all that stuff out, Becky." And I'm yeah. like, "No, you don't. Just, no, you don't." Because I'm gonna I'm gonna spray mine with you know you I'm yeah. gonna spray mine with with a starch alternative after it's attached. So guess what? This goes away with that. Mm -hmm. And then on the back side, you just take the bobbin thread and go... And it comes right out. It comes right out. And it's gone, nice. and nobody even knows you did it. Cool. So you don't have to have a trimmer by George, but it sure does make life a little easier. Hint, though, on these new ones, you have to have a 60-millimeter 
rotary cutter. Oh. You cannot use these with a 45. It has to be 60 because of the height of, of the new. Did you find that with all 45s or just some brands of 45s? Um, well, I found it with all of my 45s, okay. which are a few different brands. Oh, yeah, that's, but I, 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 didn't I, test, I didn't test everybody's. And it actually says right on it, too, I think. Yeah, I mean, it would make yes, sense. Yes, that you requires a 60 millimeter cutter. So if you don't have a 60 millimeter cutter and you don't want to buy one, don't use Trimmer by George 3. Yes. But cool. sure makes my life a lot easier and faster. <laughs> And so I've used things from Hoop Sisters, things from Kimberbell, yeah. and things from Brother. And I'm, it's a recipe for... It's the for, culmination of it all It's together. a recipe for beautiful borders, as you saw. It was fantastic. That was a, and I, putting the stars on, yeah. again, when you get your stars, they're already going to have crosshairs on. Yeah. Because that's what we do here. We're going to give you crosshair alignment. But picture it, you just draw your crosshairs on your border yeah. where you want your stars to appear. And you line up the crosshairs that are coming in your design with the crosshairs on your quilt. And, and if you want a projector, out. if you want a projector on your embroidery machine, the only machine that has a projector is the Luminaire. Right. And whatever. Baby you can do it with it. the Dream Machine. You're just not going to project it. You're yeah, going to you... put some stabilizer in. Yeah. And you're going to stitch the crosshair out, and then use the pin method to make sure the crosshairs are lined up where you yeah. need them to be, and then push them out. Mean, this to me is. Oh, oh yeah. This Wait, was sure. what brother was made for. Oh yeah, that's a, <laughs> And that hoop. That, yeah, I was gonna see that hoop with that is a fantastic setup. Yeah, yeah. Well, that is amazing. There. So that's okay, my. Is that all you got? That yes. <laughs> that's <laughs> no, not no, enough. Not, I'm not trying to rush you. That's not enough. <laughs> because that's to, what we, I've been busy. because we get to buy fabric today because we have our fabric room. Oh, oh, nice, nice, nice. Hi, Hi. D. Hi, Hi. Hi, D. Hi. 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 Dee's in the house. Dee's yeah. in the Danny's kicking us off. She's like, look at the top. She's slapping us, people. She's giving us virtual slaps. All right. Ooh, baby. So I guess, I guess, Ooh, that's, baby. I guess that's time for me to, um, which am I on? The black or the white? What? Which camera am I looking at? This one. That one. Okay. Oh. So look at that one. It's weird, but if I look at that one, that's the right one. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Shenanigans with Brent and Becky. Yeah. So on. And be excellent to each other. Toodles.